good morning children uh, this is r sujana your english teacher uh, how are you all i am fine last week we completed my sweet memories lesson right so today we will do the activities part related to this lesson my sweet memories okay all of you pick up your textbook and get ready with your pencil okay go to page number 24 choose the correct answer and write the corresponding letters in the brackets actually all these activities are related to this lesson my sweet memories if you are thorough with the lesson now you can easily write the answers okay so first one santosh went to dash a ramapuram b krishnapuram rangapuram okay ma let me know uh, santosh went to which place ramapuram village so the answer is a ramapuram next uh, bit the paddy fields were dash in color ramapuram village uh, santosh went to ramapuram village na so the paddy fields were in which color a white b green c blue so what is the answer normally paddy fields will be green in color so the answer is b green next third one dash helped his father in milking the house santosh uh, he made friendship with uh, new people in ramapuram village so one of them was aman aman is a good boy he always helps his father in milking the cows so the answer is aman c so who helped his father in milking the cows aman so answer is c The girls were playing near a dash tree. A banyan, coconut, C neem. So the girls were playing near a banyan tree. A fifth one. Santosh returned home on dash April twenty fourth, April twenty eighth, June eleventh. Santosh returned home on April twenty eighth. The answer is B. Okay. now see the vocabulary activity activity number 3 page number 25 let's revisit the following sentences from the reading text first one i got a seat near the window you might have noticed a word, uh, an underlined word in this sentence that is near so what is the opposite of near that is far second one i have tasted the first mango of the season they underlined the word first so uh, what is the opposite of first that is last okay the opposite words for such underlined words are far and last respectively such words which give the opposite meanings are called antonyms okay so antonyms are nothing but the words that give the opposite meaning of the words so what is the antonym of near that is far what is the opposite of fast first that is last so if if you get uh, this kind of question like uh, write the antonym of the following don't get confused and don't get frightened antonym antonym is nothing but the opposite word okay let's see the antonyms for different words less more less more fresh stale fresh stale beautiful ugly beautiful ugly next one hard soft hard soft thick thin thick thin narrow broad narrow broad so uh, if you get uh, like uh, this kind of question like the uh, write the antonyms for the following words just write the opposite word of that given word okay next okay see the next exercise rewrite the following sentences by changing the underlined word with its opposite one has been done for you example our journey started in day today okay so what is that sentence our journey 
started today so they underline the word started so you have to write the antonym of the word started so opposite of started is ended so write the sentence our journey ended today previously you are supposed to write the antonym that's it you are writing only the opposite word but now you came to fifth standard na so you should be able to write a full sentence okay so using the antonyms you have to write a new sentence second see the next one the weather was pleasant in the morning so here the underlined word is pleasant so opposite of pleasant or antonym of pleasant is unpleasant so rewrite the sentence using the antonym the weather was unpleasant in the morning the weather was unpleasant in the morning second one the river was so clean so what is the antonym of clean unclean so you have to write the river was so unclean next i sat on a smooth rock you, smooth the word smooth is underlined here so you have to write the opposite of this word i sat on a rough rock <coughs> next the breakfast was delicious the breakfast was delicious so what is the antonym of delicious that is unpalatable means if the food is very tasty you say delicious if it is not good then what do you say unpalatable so the antonym of delicious is unpalatable so you have to write the breakfast was unpalatable the mango was tasty so opposite of tasty is tasteless so you have to write the mango was tasteless okay ma i hope you understood this activity okay so uh, uh, here you have to learn the concept of antonyms learn the antonyms or the opposite words of different words and try to make use of them in the given sentences okay so as a fifth standard student you should practice all these things okay next activity Santosh saw many things in Ramapuram write the words associated with the village one has been done for you okay so here they have given a mind mapping uh, it's very simple we have done this kind of uh, mappings in fourth standard also okay so here in the center of this mapping you can see the word village so the things which you observe in village they should be written as part of this mapping so here what do you find in village you will see lush paddy lush green paddy fields so uh, here you can write paddy and you can see different birds green fields and next crops big trees canal coconut palms and cool breeze this mapping is very important you can expect this kind of questions in exams so learn the concept then you can write any kind of question so learn the uh, lesson properly okay okay ma uh, all of you see the activity 5 it is related to grammar okay read the following sentences carefully what they have given there is no one at home what does it mean it means no one at home means nobody is at home okay and nothing is there to do it is very boring let's go out and do something pallavi said to santosh okay here this is the conversation between a girl pallavi and a boy santosh what she is saying there is no one at home it, so it is so boring and there is not thing to do so we will go out and do something okay in the above sentences the underlined words no one nothing and something do not refer to any specific person or thing such words are called indefinite pronouns okay here they are talking about pronouns 
but here the case of indefinite pronouns no one no one means uh, did she mention anyone's name father's name mother's name nothing no na so no one is a indefinite pronouns okay uh, indefinite pronouns means here we are not mentioning anyone's name here no one no one at home so this is called an indefinite pronoun nothing okay today uh, suppose i have to cook something for my kids so i have the task of cooking you have to write your homework suppose if we don't have any work what we sh what should we say we have nothing to do nothing uh, and something uh, the, they don't refer to any particular person or anything thing so these are called indefinite pronouns these pronouns are used to talk about people places or things without saying exactly who where and what they are so here when you are using indefinite pronouns means we don't mention the names of the specific person specific place or specific thing we just say nothing something no one like that so here we don't mention uh, uh, mention the names exactly okay okay ma all of you see this table this is very useful and listen carefully here is a list of indefinite pronouns referring to people places and things okay so people anybody anyone places anywhere things anything okay so let's see where we should use this anyone or anybody suppose uh, in the during the class i asked a question and i said like uh, anyone can answer this question means out of uh, from the 20 uh, 30 students anyone can answer the question so here i am not mentioning the name of the student okay next places anywhere anywhere means here i am not mentioning the name of the place suppose uh, i want to apply for a particular i want to ap apply for a job so anyone can any uh, they can apply from any place so there you can use anywhere things anything okay suppose uh, you have free time at your home and your mom said uh, like uh, you said uh, mummy i'm feeling very bored then your mother said okay now you are free now you can do anything whatever you want to do like you can do drawing you can sing you can dance like thing anything you can do in that case you have to use anything next everyone everybody everyone so everyone from the suppose i gave an instruction everyone from this class they should write assignment everyone everywhere everything no one nobody nowhere nothing someone somebody somewhere something okay so depending on the sentence you have to make use of these indefinite pronouns people places things anyone anybody everyone everybody no one nobody someone somebody places anywhere everywhere nowhere somewhere next things anything everything nothing something okay now we will do some exercises okay here they have given some sentences using the uh, words you have to write the answer see i lost my watch i have looked for it dash everywhere anywhere nowhere suppose i lost my watch where should i look for i have to see for it everywhere not in a particular place or nowhere so you have to make use of everywhere i lost my watch i have looked for it everywhere okay next step 
dash broke the window so who broke the window here see the options nothing everywhere someone so uh, if you don't know the name of the person who broke the window what you should say ma'am someone broke the window i asked who broke the window you said someone broke the window okay next it's a secret don't tell dash so secret means that should be kept secret it should be confidential we should not uh, tell it to every per, uh, all the persons so here it's a secret don't tell any one okay next i am looking for my glasses i cannot find them dash you i am looking for my glasses but i could not get them so what is the answer here i cannot find them anywhere okay the problem is very difficult dash knows the answer so the problem is difficult and nobody knows the answer so answer is nobody okay ma if you want to learn the la uh, any topic related to any subject you should learn the concept if you know the concept you can e answer any question easily so learn the concept okay so all of you learn this table okay now all of you go to activity 6 in the page number 27 let's revisit the following sentences from the lesson first our journey started today so the underlined word is started next pallavi showed me how to play with a tire and a stick who showed how to play with a tire and a stick pallavi so the underlined word is showed in the above sentences the underlined words are the past forms of the verbs start and show respectively okay ma in the previous uh, classes third standard and fourth standard i ta taught you the three forms of verb three forms of verb uh, you remember uh, i think you remember all these things so there are three forms of verb present form past form and the past pa participle or the future form okay so the above actions really took place and the speaker expressed the same using the above past forms of the verbs means uh, this is the event that happened in the past suppose you ate you ate a mango yesterday so what are the three forms of verb here eat ate eaten so ate is the past form of the verb eat okay so if you know the forms of the verb na no, then you can uh, you can write any kind of sentence easily okay so uh, we need to express certain actions that did not take place okay so here see these two sentences it rained yesterday means there was a rainfall yesterday so you said it rained yesterday suppose if there was no rainfall yesterday what you should write it did not rain yesterday it did not rain yesterday so you have to make use of did not along with the present form of the verb one more time i am repeating it rained yesterday the underlined word is rained so this rained is the past form of the verb rain so what is the present form rain so it did not rain yesterday all of you go to page number 28 the negative of the verb form rained is written as did not rain so the present form is rain the negative form of the verb rained is did not rain so you can see did not rain is, is equal to did plus not rain or didn't rain in contracted form so in uh, you can write uh, you can write did not like didn't so that is called contracted form okay let's see some examples you will get the clear picture simple past here i got a letter so got 
आई गॉट ए लेटर हियर द गॉट 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 इज द पास्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब गेट सो गेट गॉट सो सिंपल पास्ट नेगेटिव यू हैव टू राइट द नेगेशन ऑफ दिस सेंटेंस आई डिडेंट गेट यूअर लेटर सो हियर यू हैव टू मेक यूज ऑफ डिड डिड नॉट गेट ओके नेक्स्ट वन अमन हेल्पड हिज फादर अमन हेल्पड हिज फादर हेल्पड इज द नेगेट सॉरी दिस इज द पॉजिटिव फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब सो वॉट इज द नेगेटिव स्टेटमेंट हियर अमन डिड नॉट हेल्प हिज फादर श्रुति लर्ट हर लेसन अंडरलाइन द वर्ड लर्ट सो वॉट इज अ सिंपल पास नेगेटिव श्रुति डिड नॉट लर्न हर लेसन द लाइन किल द माउस किल किल इज द पॉज सॉरी पास फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब किल 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 द लाइन डिड नॉट किल द माउस we saw a movie last week what is the past uh, present form of the present form of saw see see saw seen so we saw a movie last week we did not see a movie last week okay this exercise becomes very easy for you if and only if you know the present and past forms of the verbs okay now they have given some exercises we have to do now change the following into their negatives simple past the bird flew the bird flew flew is the past form of the verb fly so what should you write the what, what is the answer here simple past negative the bird did not fly okay next he sold the car what is the present form of sold sell sell sold so he did not sell the car she lost her bag lose lost she did not lo- lose her bag the train did not uh, the train left the station the train did not leave the station i sang a song i did not sing a song okay let's see the next activity pallavi has a list of things to complete by last monday but today is thursday she completed some and did not complete some okay okay children as a student you you should definitely maintain a timetable like uh, suppose you have got some homework from your teacher so you should keep some time like uh, by 5 o'clock i should complete this homework like this so here they are talking about a student whose name is pallavi actually she made a plan like things to do on monday first example finish homework so here you can see tick mark here suppose if she completed that one you have to put the tick mark yes pallavi finished her homework what is the second activity make notes no pallavi pallavi did not make her notes so you can find the into mark but you have to write the sentence what is that one pallavi did not make her notes next draw diagrams she completed so what you have to write pallavi drew her diagrams next polish shoes she completed polishing the shoes so you have to write pallavi polished her shoes buy ribbons but pallavi did not buy ribbons her ribbons so you have to make use of did not next prepare a report 
Pallavi, Pallavi, she did not prepare a report. So, in this way, you have to, uh, you should be able to write the negative uh, forms of the ne sen given sentences, okay? Okay, uh, next activity in page number 29. Read a sample diary entry of Santosh on his birthday. Okay, Tuesday, 10th December 2019. So, Santosh, he wrote, wrote a diary of the events happened on his birthday. So, what was the day? Tuesday. Uh, if you are, you are going to write a letter means you should mention the date and date of uh, date on which you are writing the diary so 10th december 2019 let's see what he had written in the diary dear diary today is my birthday i woke up at around 6 and make had breakfast with my family my parents hugged and gave me the largest bar of chocolate i have ever seen they also gave me a new dress a football and a board game my parents had invited my friends to my birthday party in the evening. I received a potted plant, a storybook and a set of colored pencils as gifts. My mother had baked a strawberry cake that tasted delicious. We also had biryani and ice cream. I enjoyed every moment of the day. I think this is the best birthday. <coughs> I have ever had. So, uh, Santosh. Okay. So, who wrote this diary? It, it, it was written by Santosh. On which day? Tuesday, 10th December. So, in this diary, Santosh was talk, writing about his birthday. So, 10th December was his birthday. So, he got up at 6 o'clock in the morning and had breakfast with his family. And his parents hugged him and wished him and they gave him the largest bar of chocolate. So, he got a big chocolate. So, and they, uh, he was presented a new dress, football and board game. And his parents invited his friends to his birthday party in the evening. So, what he got? A potted plant, storybook, and a set of color pencils as gifts. And Santosh's mother, she baked a strawberry cake, and it was very delicious. And they had biryani and ice cream, and they enjoyed every moment of the day. And Santosh felt like it was the best birthday he ever had. Normally, when our birthday comes now, we also have these kind of things in our life. So you can also write a diary uh, suppose if your birthday is coming in this month or in coming days na so uh, you also write in a book in a diary mention the date and write the things that happened on that particular day uh, you just write what your mother pre uh, <coughs> prepared on that day and how you celebrated your birthday like uh, uh, you if you had a birthday party and how you enjoyed the birthday party and the kind of things or the gifts you get on that particular day and so how you celebrated your birthday you can make a uh, note of all these things in your diary so uh, you also write about your birthday celebrations in a small book and when you come to the school now you all you have to show me your diary i mean you have to tell me what you have what you had done on that particular day okay okay next they have given some work for you now write your diary entry describing how you celebrated Deepavali. Use the hints given below. Okay, so the 
लास्ट वीक वी सेलेब्रेटेड दीपावली फेस्टिवल ना सो हियर दे हैव गिवन सम क्लूज क्लूज और हिंट्स दीपावली हाउस डेकोरेशन न्यू क्लोथ्स लक्ष्मी पूजा कलरफुल लाइट्स रंगोली पैटर्न्स बर्निंग क्रैकर्स एंजॉयड दीज आर द क्लूज गिवन फॉर यू सो यू हैव टू राइट about the diwali festival uh, in that diary and you have to write how you celebrated the festival so using the given hints you are a fifth grade student na so you should be able to make simple sentences in your own words you can write whatever you want to write about that diwali festival let's see dear diary today we celebrated the festival of lights deepavali deepavali is also known as diwali and it is the festival of lights i have truly enjoyed it is a remarkable day i never forget it in my life yesterday i want to i, I went to the market with my family to bring some new clothes sweets and crackers okay deepavali you you burn crackers na so you need to buy crackers on for deepavali i help my family to make a rangoli design at in front of our door step in the morning i wore new clothes distributed sweets to my friends and neighbors in the evening i decorated my house with colorful lights in the night after lakshmi puja we burnt so many crackers and enjoyed a life enjoyed a lot this boy name is ajay ajay wrote about diwali festival at uh, and how he celebrated diwali at his home so you can also write about diwali festival in your own words you can write very simple simple sentences like uh, we celebrated diwali we bought new clothes sweets and crackers diwali is a festival of lights and uh, you can write like i help my mom to make a rangoli design at in front of my home on on diwali morning i wore new clothes and distributed sweets to my friends and relatives in the evening we decorated our home and we did lakshmi puja and we burnt many crackers we enjoyed a lot you can write in very simple simple sentences okay let's see the activity 8 paragraph writing on a given topic look at the following paragraph in delhi a balloon race is held every year on the day of the race one can see a large number of huge and colorful balloons they are floating in the air above the houses and the tall buildings with people standing in the gaskets and gondolas as they are called looking down upon us that's really a wonderful experience one could see okay so here they have given a paragraph so it means that a paragraph is a group of sentences that tells us about a single idea here they are talking about a balloon race hot air balloons you you can see the hot air balloons in this picture and a balloon race is held in delhi every year on the day of race we can see a large number of colorful balloons in the air they will be like floating in the air above the houses and tall buildings with the people standing in the baskets or gondolas so this balloon hot air balloon uh, it will have a basket uh, and uh, the uh, you can see people standing in those baskets and they can see from there it's a re- wonderful experience to see so in this paragraph they are talking about the balloon race held in delhi so a paragraph is nothing but a group of sentences and they tell us about a single idea okay a paragraph consists of a topic sentence that tells the reader the main idea of the paragraph 
so if you see the okay, paragraph carefully from the first sentence that is called the topic sentence if you see the topic sentence you can easily identify what they are going to tell you in this paragraph and delhi a balloon race is held every year that is the first sentence of this paragraph so from this first sentence itself you are able to uh, tell uh, like you are going to talk about balloon race held in every year next one supporting details that give details about the main idea okay on the day dash can see can see a large number of huge and colorful balloons <coughs> so the this is called supporting detail supporting detail gives the details about the main idea and see the last one a concluding sentence that brings the paragraph to a clear end that's really a wonderful experience one could see okay so this is called the concluding sentence okay children i i will explain one more time a paragraph is a group of sentences that tells us about a single idea in this what is this paragraph this paragraph is graph is about balloon race held in delhi every year so a paragraph consists of three parts first one topic sentence second one supporting details third one concluding sentence the topic sentence is nothing but the first sentence if you, by seeing the first sentence itself you are able to tell about that paragraph that gives the main idea of the paragraph okay second one supporting details supporting details means they give you the main idea of that paragraph okay so this middle part of this paragraph they come under supporting details next a concluding sentence concluding sentence means concluding sentence it gives a, you have to end the paragraph no so that's really a wonderful experience one could see this is called a concluding sentence okay children that's all for today okay uh all of you go through all these concepts one more time take care bye